another uh, great friend to, to all of us. Long time member of our leadership team, Representative Sandra Major has served the 111th District of Susquehanna and Wayne Counties for 22 years. She was elected in 1994, and she's currently serving her fifth term as Republican Caucus Chair. She also serves on the Committee on Committees. Sandy, as we all affectionately refer to her, is a member of the board of the Pennsylvania Higher Education Assistance Agency, where she chairs the Need Analysis Committee and serves on the Executive Committee and Audit Review Committee. Folks, she has been, without a doubt, one of the most effective, if not the most effective, at least for my tenure, caucus chairs that I have ever had the opportunity to observe and watch. She's fair, she's judicious, she's informed, she never misses any opportunity to be in front of the caucus unless called upon for another responsibility with the leadership team. Just absolute dedication and commitment. She resides in Brackney with her husband, Tony, and at this time, I'd like to call to the rostrum Representative Sandra Major, our caucus chair. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for that very kind introduction and for giving me the opportunity to speak and address the members today. As I stand to give my final remarks, I must first say that I have been truly honored to serve 22 years as a member of the Pennsylvania House of Representatives. This would not have been possible without the efforts of many people who I would like to thank. As we each know, the job of a state legislator, if done well, can be a 24-7 commitment. The support of my family enabling me to do my job has been without hesitation. My husband, Tony, is my greatest supporter. My mother, Barbara, has always been there for me for whatever I've needed. My sister, Susan, and my brother, Stephen, and his wife, Melanie, have helped me tremendously in the district. My other sister, Billy Kay, and her husband, David, who reside here in the Harrisburg area, have been invaluable in helping me in countless ways, and Billy Kay is here with me today. My extended family here in Harrisburg, which is made up of staff whose devotion and dedication are unwavering. Jessica Gray, Jennifer Harrison, and Terry Swanger are truly amazing ladies, and they're here with me. I'm glad for them to be in the chamber here today. They make my work as caucus chairman possible and always ensure that everything runs smoothly in an organized fashion. I also thank Tricia Lehman, my writer, who has always helped me to keep my constituency informed. Once again, they're all here in the chamber today. If they please stand, including my sister, Billy, and I'd ask you to please thank them. Help me thank them for their years of service. I thank all of you for your years of service and working with me throughout these many years. Also, I want to thank my district staff, Deborah Valunas, Alex Allen, and Karen Kaczynski, who are on that front line at all times. They are dedicated and work extremely hard to assist me as well as the constituents who come into our offices. I also have some members of staff who have retired and I'd certainly like to recognize them. Carol Cutting, Jim Mills, and Len Bennett who worked with me here in Harrisburg, and Eileen Spencer, Debbie Kissel, and Donna Hamill who worked in the district also provided invaluable service over the years. 
My much thanks to each of them. As caucus chairman over the past 10 years, I have truly valued the commitment to lead and the passion to move a sometimes challenging agenda forward of both past and current leadership teams. I want to thank all the leaders, both Republicans and Democrats, with whom I've served. And a huge thank you to our leadership staff. They are truly amazing people. I'd also like to thank all of the House members, including several who have retired, and those of you who continue to serve. Many of you are my closest friends and confidants. You know who you are, so I won't go get into naming you individually. I will say, though, that I absolutely will miss each and every one of you tremendously. Perhaps most importantly, I must thank the people of the 111th District for their trust and their faith in electing me 11 times to represent them in Harrisburg. I am honored by their belief in me and their support and enthusiasm, which motivated me to work hard for them over the past 22 years. When I retire, certainly reflecting on all these years, something that I will absolutely recall, and I think it's something important to recall, is that we are a diverse body of members representing a diverse constituency. But despite those diversities, I am proud that when faced with difficult challenges, we most often come together to focus on solutions to serious problems and move forward in an effort to make Pennsylvania as great as it can be recognizing that sometimes we have different definitions of great. I've always viewed my position as a member of this house as an incredible privilege. Every time I enter this chamber, I am touched by the grandeur of our surroundings and the magnificent history of the Pennsylvania House of Representatives. I've been inspired to work hard doing the people's business and improving the lives of the constituents I've been elected to represent and all Pennsylvanians. I will leave office in a few weeks, grateful for the opportunity to serve, humbled by the experience, and hopeful that Pennsylvania's best days are yet to come. It has been an honor and a privilege to work with and serve with each and every one of you. Thank you and may God bless. Sandy, um, as I said, that's, that's how we affectionately refer to um, our caucus chair, Sandra Major. Um, for, for the public uh, and for the members here, in both sides, um, if you're ever, many of our, our, our heated discussions on legislation um, are amongst our, home, our own uh, colleagues within our party. And that's true for, I know, our Democratic, in, in, when they have their caucus or when we have our Republican caucus. And the persons for the outside world that actually run those caucus meetings are the caucus chairs. Sandy, Sandra Major, has been our caucus chair, Sandy, the fifth term, right? Ten years has run our House Republican meetings on all the important issues, um, particularly the budgets, uh, which we do every year. And, and it's in those meetings where we're really... Uh, members are able to get into the, the details and the nuances of the legislation that's going to be in front of us. Nobody, nobody has run. And you have to have somebody strong, particularly when you have, uh, well, we're at 119, I, I, I know, 119 members. You have to have somebody strong who's fair, principled, because sometimes you have to say, we got to move along. Sometimes you have to, to, to say, say to, to members, listen, we've got to have order again, and we've, we've got to got to tackle this important issue. And, and, and that is not a job for, for, not everybody can pull off that job. You have to have a, a, a strong personality, but who's well-liked and who's fair, and who, who knows the, the rules of order. 
Sandy has just been outstanding. Sandy, you're outstanding. And uh, I just have to say, we think, th think of the world of her. I know you also represent your district exceptionally well, too, and that you're never, your heart and mind are never far from, from your home in the Northeast. Uh, but you do have a role that, that addresses the entire state, and I think it's important that everybody out there, all the citizens, knew just what an important role you played. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Michael. Thank you. That you, you too. Oh, come on up.